Lining up. That's it. Off and racing for this Lada Farm sponsored four year old geldings. Field of 13 runners make their way on towards the first of 15 fences. And over safely in front is Hank West from in the Champagne Fortune, who is in second as they continue the way on across the top of the track now and race on towards fence number two. They're followed on the inside by the Nuke Sensation, and Bo Coop is next. And they're followed next in the field by in behind these. It is hot on the double as they clear fence number one safely. Early back marker is Bop Won't Stop as they swing the bend down, run downhill and race on downhill towards fence number three. And as they do so, it is Hank West who leads the way from Cloran Castle, the Nuke Sensation, Champagne Fortunes next. And they're followed next in the field by Hot on the Double. And they're in turn are followed further back in the field as they continue to run downhill by Bally Red and Kingston, Cosmic Danny, and they're followed by Bo Coop. They're in turn are followed next in the field in behind these by Fool Me Once, who in turn is followed next by Keystone. And they're followed by the back pair as they continue their way downhill on Buchel Rua and completing the field, it is Bop Won't Stop. Swinging the home bend for the first time, I mean, in fact, last one there at fence number three, out of the contest, got to report Harry Goff up in his feet, hot in the double, is out of the contest. 13 is reduced to 12 as they continue their way up the home straight for the first time. And on towards this fence, fence number four. Rising in front, Hank West over safely, leading the way from in second. As they continue the way, it is Clohan Castle. They're followed next in the field by, in behind these, Lydon Lane, who sits in third. And they're followed next by attack malfunction here for Cosmic Danet. So, a bit of an incident packed fence as, uh, as Cosmic Danet will be out of the contest. So, leading the way, it is Hank West now from Lydon Lane. Clohan Castle is in third. They're followed next by Champagne Fortune, who in turn is followed. Next in the field by Fool Me Once as they pass the judges' trailer. Bally Red and Kingston's neck with the Nuke Sensation, Keystone, and they're followed by Bo Coop, who in turn is followed. Next in the field by Unbuchel Rue, and the back market the field is Bop One Stop. Passing the point of departure now, and continue the way across the top of the track, quickly racing on towards fence number six in this Lydon Lane, who leads away from in second, Hank West. They're followed next in the field now, back in third by, in behind these, it is Clohan Castle. Break of eight or nine lanes back to the four champion fortune who in turn is followed next in the field by Fool Me Once and Bally Red and Kingston Keystone is next with in behind these and the outside the Nuke Sensation they're followed by Mbukul Rua who in turn is followed by the back pair Bop One Stop and Bo Coop they continue to wait over that one now and continue to run into the back straight for their second time running downhill and on towards what will be fence number eight and as they continue to wait downhill it is still leading the way it is Lydon Lane leading the way JJ Berry from in second Hank West and Barry Stone. They're followed by Clohan Castle who's in third and Owen Mahan in behind these. It is Champagne Fortune and Brian Lawless who sits in four. They're followed next in the field in five by Fool Me Once and Jamie Scallon. And they're followed on the inside by Bally Redden Kingston and JJ Walsh. And they're in turn are followed in behind these by Keystone. Daniel Hyde, who in turn has followed a nuke sensation, Rob James and Buchel Rua is next, and Jack Hendricks, and they're followed on the outside by Bop One Stop, and Darren McGill, and Bo Coop is the backmacker, and Barry O'Neill. Heading on towards this next fence now, fence number nine, Lydon Lane, still leads the way, and is over. From in second and behind him is Hank West. They're followed next in the field by in behind these back in third. It is Clawing Castle. Fool Me Once is next with following Champagne Fortune and they're following in behind these by Keystone, Bally Red and Kingston, Luke Sensation. In behind these is Bop One Stop and they're followed next in the field by Mbukal Rua, Backmarkers, Bo Coop. On towards this fence, fence number 10, it'll be the last in a circus time. Lid Lane rises in front from his second, Hank West. They're followed next in the field by Clawing Castle, Champagne Fortune. They in turn are followed next in the field in behind these as they continue their way by Fool Me Once, who in turn has followed 
on the bin by Keystone and Bally Red and Kingston, the Nuke Sensation on Bukalura, Bop One Stop and Bo Coop. Continue the way across the top now and racing on towards the fence that is going to be five out now. And as it do so, Lyndon Lane is out of the contest. Own seeds give his rider, JJ Berry, very little chance. Hank West is left in front now. And Hank West leaves the way from in second. And behind these now is Cloan Castle. And the inside, Champagne Fortune is next. And they're followed by, in behind these, catching the eye is Fool Me once. They're in turn are followed next by Keystone with Bally Red and Kingston. The new sensation gets closer. And Bukal Roo and Bop One Stop and Bo Coop the back marker over that fence now four from the finish a swing the bend run down into the back straight with three fences left to jump and as they face down the hill it is in front as they continue to wait on Clohan Castle from Hank West Champagne Fortune and they're followed by Fool Me once and four Keystone the new sensation Bally Red and Kingston is next as they run down hill towards the third last and it's Clohan Castle in front comes to it with a length and a half an advantage and flies it in front from Hank West in second Champagne Fortune is next in third with Fool Me once Keystone the new sensation and Book Rua, Bally Redden Kingston, and they're followed by Bop One Stop and Bo Cooper still continuing eight lengths adrift in rear. Heading around the home bend, they're turning with just two fences left to jump in the Slaha Farm sponsored four year old maiden race, and it's in front. It is Clohan Castle, but Hank West on the outside comes down with a renewed effort. They're followed next by Fool Me Once, who's back in third. Champagne Fortune is next as they head on towards the second last. And as Hank West has come through to join issue and head Clohan Castle, Hank West leads their way from Clohan Castle. Fool Me Once is next with Champagne Fortune and Bukarua saying on so to Keystone. The new sensation is ridden, and they're followed by Pop One Stop and Valley Red and Kingston. But they're running down towards the final fence, and Hank West has quickened on here in good style. Leads the way by the best part of five, six lengths from Champagne Fortune back in second are followed by Fool Me Once Fine Fence coming up Hank West over safely from his second champion fortune and they're followed next in the field by Fool Me Once Faller and Bukal Rua and up towards the line Hank West wins this and the bridle in good style for Team Fogarty and Barry Stone they're followed by Judgeable confirmed. Champagne Fortune and Fool Me Once. Bop One Stop stayed on for four, and they were followed by Keystone with the Nuke Sensation, Bally Red and Kingston, and Claw and Castle pulled up as Bo Coop. Got to report that Jack Hendricks is up in his final fence fall.